it's so easy to say that uh, we are into training right in training your body is very easy training your mind is really a task which we do at every class of bujutsu and today we trained into self defense training which was actually our mind was involved there were surprises there were techniques which were non known to us know yourself first know your mind and be alert aware and be confident so in this scenario what we do is somebody who is more larger than you tries to hold you from behind okay yes hoy right. okay in this case your hands are fixed here so you can use your hands you can use your hands for strike but now you don't want to use your hands because your hands are injured so how are you going to release yourself right you may try to move here and there but you may try to move left right center back but every time you will move you are going to have strong grip okay he's going to put you down and try to overpower you so in this case use your lower body lower body to destabilize him and use your hip muscles okay to release yourself okay very important so once here this way so you increase the gap destabilize the opponent and then use your hip to overcome awesome. so even if it happens like all of a sudden you standing on a bus stop and somebody comes okay here we go start all right you caught on the way so depending on your nurturing and nature you will either freeze or either try to run away or try to fight back So if you want to fight back, then here, hand move up, and then you get a leg to kick if your hands are not useful. Okay, getting it? So it's doable with your mind and with your body. You can do it, right? Os, os, os. On the Maharashtra Day, first May, we had an early morning class at CNS Dojo at Kandivli East. and uh, we trained in unique uh, methods of kwf karate devised by shihan sachin chavan wherein we trained our reflexes using some unique training methods which we trained for the first time trying to reach each other's nose catch each other's nose and indirectly training our reflexes training our vision training our peripheral vision then we also did some training wherein we learned to face surprises in life wherein we did not know what the opponent was going to do and we tried to counter that and in the end we also trained in a scenario where what to do if you are on the ground and the opponent tries to overpower you how to counter that and we also did a training in which we uh, learned to fight in whatever means are available to us suppose our hand is fractured or we cannot use our hands and how to use the rest of our body our body weight our waist to overpower an opponent or to safeguard yourself from multiple opponents thank you